messing with my camera. Yo, Michael Martinez here. So one of the things that I see a lot of YouTubers doing is the whole tour thing. And I've been making videos not for too long. My very first upload was January 23rd, almost exactly five months now. And I've been telling you that I wanna do more than reactions. It's still gonna be like the main thing, but I love doing other things as well. And sometimes I get inspired by other YouTubers and I wanna see what they're doing. So I figured I would do my first tour. Usually they give you a tour of whatever space is, you know, the familiar spot where they do their videos, whether it's their bedroom or their living room or whatever. I happen to do mine in the kitchen. So today I'm going to give you the kitchen tour. Let's go. So let's start with the countertops. 100% pure granite, came stock with the place, no big deal. I like granite better than tile. I've had tile for countertops before and it just becomes such a pain, cleaning every little nook and cranny because you know how stuff builds up in between after a while. Kind of like what I'm dealing with right here, as you can see, tile floor, some obvious discoloration all over the place. I've actually considered letting the framing around the squares all become equally dark and dirty so that it all looks uniform, like if it were its natural color, kind of a two-tone. Let's move on to the drawer here. This is your standard issue junk drawer. Coins, pens, receipts, keys, soy sauce packets. Down here is where the pots and pans are kept. Items from the junk drawer often trickle down into this area as well. And here is the stove slash oven combo, kind of a two-in-one. The stove I use mostly for hot dogs. I love a good hot dog prepared by flame. If you have not tried it, I highly recommend it. You just put it on a fork, rotate it a little. But if you do this, please remember, don't allow your lips to touch the fork. I've done this one too many times. And just below here is the oven portion. I use this mainly for storing dirty dishes. Although I have dabbled with some scalloped potato recipes unsuccessfully, but still. And this here is the knife block. Because of the angle in which the knives are placed, you can't see them right now, but they're there. Or they might actually be in the oven right now, I don't know. This top drawer has your metal cooking utensils, stuff like tongs, graters, whisks, stuff your grandma uses. This one below has your plastics, spatulas, measuring cups, strainers. This one actually might be the grandma drawer. And below here is one of the staples in every functioning household. This is the plastic bag drawer. If you do not have one of these, you are either rich or just wasteful. You'll find your forks, spoons, and butter knives in this drawer. Down here we've got some baking nonsense, you know, those trays with the little cupcake holes or whatever, Tupperware, a lot of Tupperware. I never really look in there to be honest. Uh, here we've got the dishwasher. This is another place where I like to hide the dirty dishes. I don't actually use this thing to wash the dishes. I don't know how to work the thing. Dishwashers have always been a mystery to me. They're complicated. And I enjoy washing the dishes by hand. It's relaxing for me. I'll put on some music or a podcast and I have some time to just stand there and have a moment. I don't need a dishwasher. Here you've got those fake drawers that everybody has. Why do they even do this? Who do they think they're fooling? I remember when I was a kid, it was kind of funny. Like, whoa, fake drawers. And then I'd try so hard to open them like there was some kind of a big secret in there. Anyway, it's old already. They got to put something new there, like something functional, a towel rack or something. And here you've got a pretty eclectic assortment of things. Trash bags, soap, fly swatter, dirty towels, plumbing. Uh, right here, you've got your clean towels and some sponges. And this is one of those little... Uh, hidden trash can things that rolls out like a drawer. I know, fancy, huh? Uh, and last but not least, we have the fridge. Another two-in-one here. On this side, you've got the fridge part. 
and on this on this side is the freezer section over here you've got your leftover pizza hot dogs pickles a lot of cheese crystal light and on this side uh, you've got some otter pops tater tots burritos way too much chicken uh and it's it's got one of those little things out here where you can get the ice and the clean water i know fancy that was another 50 bucks or so anyway that concludes the tour i think that covers everything you'll also see the occasional fly buzzing around but that's not really well i guess it kind of is a staple uh because of my my torn screen door i've told you guys about that in the past that's that's old news thank you for taking the tour with me I hope you enjoyed. If there happen to be any more of those cliche stock videos that YouTubers make that you'd like me to make, let me know. I made a My First Time video a while back. This was the tour. I'm trying to think what else they do. Some weird challenge. I don't know. I'm just trying to do things other than the reactions to just keep myself entertained. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. See you guys next time. I don't know it